I'm Shell Banks and I'm an IBCLC infant feeding specialist and I specialise in the colicky refluxy unsettled baby. What is colic? This is a question we get asked all the time. Colic actually just means crying. The original definition of infantile colic was from 1994 when Wessel and colleagues, a group of paediatricians, came up with a definition that was three hours of crying for three days a week for three weeks between the third week and the third month of life, which is very neat and tied up in a bow with all the threes. It's actually called the rule of threes and lots of medical professionals recognise that. But it's not that simple, is it? Because if I had a broken leg, I would cry for more than three hours a day, for more than three days a week, for more than three weeks doesn't have anything to do with what's going on for those babies. So when we've got a colicky baby, you'll recognise that high-pitched cry, you'll recognise them arching their backs and making fists, clenching their jaws together, bringing their knees up. It's clearly something in their guts, in their digestive system. And they're trying to tell us as best they can. So there's a new definition, part of the Rome criteria for gastroesophageal disorders which has got a really good definition it's the spasmodic contraction of the smooth wall of the intestine and that describes it much better that's what we can see when we're looking at these babies the thing is colic's just a symptom of something else and quite often we're told that the baby has a diagnosis of colic and that just isn't the case just means the baby is crying